Today's my birthday, so we're doing a feeding video. Hello and welcome to Elliot's Exotics. My name's Jack and if you like videos on tarantulas, snakes and more, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. Also, check out my Instagram page at Elliot's underscore exotics. Let's get into the video. So today, as it's my birthday, the animals can't have any of my cake. So we're gonna treat them to some food. Therefore, a feed them video. Let's see who's hungry. We was gonna do a little fun video for my birthday. Right. But I, yeah, no, something a bit more serious has come up. We were just about to start feeding some of the tarantulas. I noticed in the first enclosure here, these tiny, tiny little white bugs. Cool, right, are you ready, Jack? What are you looking at now? Well, I've just seen something in my collection might be in danger. What? What have you seen? So, see these little things? Yeah, what is it? That, potentially, is a predator mite. This could kill off the whole of my collection. Where have they come from? I have no clue. You're just f***ing creeping out of everywhere. Where oh, yeah. have they come from? Oh, yeah. Oh, f Are they on the rest of them? On the top. How are we only just? Do you think it's the light that's brought them out? Oh, I have no clue. I can't see them on this oh, one. It's a predator mite. Yeah. I can't see them on this one. Uh, these tiny predators are not insects, but instead are members of the spider and tick clan. You can tell predatory mites apart from spider mites uh, by their shiny, unspotted, more pear-shaped body and longer legs. Okay, they got pictures. I think they're what's called predatory mites and they can breed really, really quickly and I don't want, nope, my chilli rose in there. I can't, I, I, we were always going to do a nice fun video as you can probably tell with all the equipment out and about but I, yeah, I just need to rehouse her, I can't. We've just noticed it and we've just searched everything uh, and she's not going to like this but I'd prefer to have her a new box, so I'm just going to stick her in this little temporary enclosure, a little temporary tub. This is the same one that we gave Miss Bronson to put in, but this is what we've got for the moment because uh, none of the other enclosures are ready just yet. So you can probably see, I don't know, there's like little tiny, tiny little bugs. Can you see them? Uh, they're only on this enclosure at the moment, but I, I don't want them spreading, so I want to just get rid of everything quick. Uh, and just deal with it now. I don't know where these have come from. Not a clue. I mean, this this is the only stuff I've got at the moment because we've used all the stuff for Miss Bronson. This stuff is quite dry at the moment because I was using it for my, this is what I use for my backgrounds. And I just pour it all over the backgrounds to make these. Uh, so this is just coca fibre. But I'm just, this is all I've got at the moment. This is the fun, one of the fun sides of having tarantulas when things can go wrong and you've got to try and act as quick as possible. I've been keeping tarantulas for about six years. I've never had anything like this before, ever. But as soon as I saw them, it was just straight out. Got to get her out. We're just going to see if we can get her. There is none on her, but I don't want to start leaving it to chance to try and get some in here. Come on, girl. I know. Come on. No, no, no. No, I need to go this way. Come on. I oh, know. Let's go. I oh, know. I promise you a better enclosure. We'll do it right up. Come on. Come on. Stubborn. Come on. I know you like your enclosure preferred to this box, but you can't have it yet. So that's her in there now. I haven't even got anything that fancy. These are all being cleaned and sorted out. So you can have that for now. I'm sorry, girl. That's all we've got for now. I don't, yeah, as I said, I don't know where all these have come from. 
Out of all the time of keeping tarantulas, I've never had anything like this before. I check my animals every day, make sure they're okay, you know, the enclosures are okay. This morning it was fine. Checked it this morning, it was fine, couldn't see anything. And then as soon as we were filming, we were just about to feed, we, mm -hmm. we just saw it. Uh, and I just wanted to deal with it as soon as possible because I don't want to leave anything like this out because I'm not too clued up on predatory mites, but I don't want it to get worse. So we're just gonna wash this out and boil that. But the rest of it is just going straight in the bin. And then I'm just going to clean the enclosure as best as possible. I'll see if we can get some sort of clips uh, of these little mites, if anyone at all knows. Uh, from what I can see, they look like predatory mites, but if there is anything that you guys might know, please let me know in the comments because I don't want this spreading to the other enclosures. As far as we can see, it's just this one, but that's for now. I don't know if they've got into the other enclosures, so we're just binning everything out of here. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, goodness. Contamination. It's not the video I wanted to film. Um, at all. Uh, as I said, we wanted to do a nice, happy feeding video for my birthday, but uh, this is what we've got. I've seen a few people that have said it, things like this could be anything to do with dust mites, which just means I need more ventilation in my in my room. But these are exoterras, so they've got the cross ventilation. I've got my window that's, that open that I keep open during the day. Keep all doors open. So I don't think it's that. They look like predatory mites. Also a good thing about why I do these custom backgrounds is uh, so I can just get them out. Just like that. They're not glued in. Oh, they're going to have to be binned as well. Yep. Alright, now that's that bit done, we're just going to uh, chuck a load of this in. This stuff is just deep clean spray. It's good for animals, so you can use it in reptile enclosures as well as tarantula enclosures. It's not toxic, uh, just don't feed it to them. You should be fine. I'm just going to let that sit on there. Oh, well, thank you for watching. Sorry it's not the video that I was going to do, which was a, a feeding video for my birthday, but sometimes these ha things happen, and when they do happen, they happen to me. If you do know what they are, they're like tiny little white bugs. I'll see if I can put in a little clip about them, if we've got something. Just if anyone knows, please let me know, and what else to do if I can do anything. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.